<laughs> you gotta get a snare drum like this. What a gorgeous, gorgeous drum. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, hello, welcome back <laughs> to another episode of whatever the heck this channel is. Today, we're looking at this beautiful Tama 14 by eight rosewood ply artwood snare drum. What a gorgeous, gorgeous drum. So what we're looking at here, I believe is nine thin plies of rosewood made in Japan. I mean, the craftsmanship is incredible. We got triple flange hoops, the original 2.3 millimeter hoops that Tama made, which are really nice. These beautiful tube style lugs on here. And uh, look at the veneer. That rosewood is crazy looking. Now, a while back, I made a video about the Alex Van Halen Tama snare drum that's also made out of rosewood. drum a lot but when you take that dampener off the high end gets really crazy and i don't know if that's because of the depth of the drum the thickness of the shell or or what probably a combination of both of those things but since this is so much thinner and so much deeper this drum just retains such an amazing beautiful big tone <laughs> At a medium pitch, this drum cuts like a metal snare drum and retains this huge wood-like body as well. It's just such an interesting combination of tonal qualities in a drum. It's You can only get that from Rosewood. I just listen to the drums by themselves. I mean, that is just incredible. And it, it doesn't take a lot to get there. I've got a basic snare side head on the bottom. I've got a nice set of pure sound wires there too. And then I put a nice Evans UV2 here on the top. It's a two ply head, but it sounds like the most powerful beefy one ply head that you've ever played. But it's got the resilience of a two ply head, which when you crank it up, it just sounds just as good. Now that is the tone that I love to get out of a 14 by eight snare drum because you get this super nice high pitch, but because it's this giant snare drum, it doesn't sound like a really small piccolo snare. It has this beef, this power to it still. And it's tones like that that remind me of the music I listened to through college, which is like post rock, post metal. I loved listening to bands like If These Trees Could Talk. There was this band called God is an Astronaut. And there was even a band that was, it was super heavy that I really loved called Rosetta. This drum was made to excel in those environments because you have guitar players that want to use giant amplifiers. The bass player is going to want to have a really big amplifier. Maybe these people have two or three amps a piece up on the stage. They each got their own van. They might as well buy a semi at this point because they're it's just ridiculous. And then you, you ain't got an amp as a drummer and somehow you got to keep up with this stuff. <laughs> you got to get a snare drum like this. A 14 by eight is perfect for that. And this is particularly good. Rosewood is so loud. This is a loud snare drum. And even if you're not mic'd, whether you're playing metal or rock or pop or anything, this thing's going to cut through the mix as long as you're giving it a good thwap.
So you've heard it low, you've heard it high, and right there in the middle, pitch-wise, that thing still sounds great, doesn't it? And even though we talked about how the 6.5 inch 70s rosewood ply drum had that hollow quality, eh, this still has that hollow quality, but because it's deeper, because it's a thinner shell, that quality of the tone wood still sounds just so much more pleasant. And besides the pleasant tone of the snare here today, you're hearing the pleasant tone of a bunch of other Japanese drums and beautiful cymbals. We have the Yamaha recording custom set here from 1987 in a hot red finish. Evan's heads top and bottom. Beautiful painted head on the front from my partner Cam. And the cymbals here just as beautiful tonally. We have Turkish cymbals, 15 inch millennium hats, 20 inch Metacrash, 22 inch uh, Millennium Ride and a 24 inch prototype ride. It does not get better than that. And Turkish Cymbals, by the way, are the folks who borrowed us this drum today. So thank you. Go check out their products because I'm telling you, for the price, this stuff is awesome. I mean, you can't beat the price. They're made in Turkey by Cymbal Smiths who have been doing this forever. It is good stuff. Thanks for sticking around this long. I hope you enjoyed the video. You got a question about the drums or the recording or anything? Put it in the comments. If you can give me a like, a subscribe, or text this video to a friend who's going to think I'm a kooky dude, I'd appreciate that too. Thanks for sticking around. We'll catch you next time. Peace.